responsibilities. Percy was spending the night at the shed at the big station before returning to his work on Thomas's branch line next day. Well, well, little Percy, said Gordon grandly, it's nice to have you with us for a change. You, Thomas and Toby are running that branch line of yours efficiently, I suppose. Um, I think so, Gordon, replied Percy, though he wasn't quite sure what efficiently meant. Ah, that's right, rumbled the big engine. No late trains or angry passengers, an efficient railway is a great responsibility, as I, of course, know only too well. What the fat controller would do without me to keep things running smoothly, I simply can't imagine. James and Henry do their best, Gordon went on, but someone has to keep a responsible eye on things. It must be splendid to race along with a train of heavy coaches, sighed Percy enviously. When you were ill that time, it took Thomas, Duck and me to move them, and even then the three of us couldn't go very fast. Never mind, said Gordon. You kept things running, and that's what matters. It's a knack, I suppose. My big wheels help, but there's more to it than that, of course. Next morning, Gordon had steam up before Percy. Percy needed water, but because he had enough steam to move, Gordon offered to push him to the water column. Thank you, Gordon, said Percy gratefully. That will be very kind. Not at all, replied Gordon grandly. It all helps the smooth running of the railway. Responsibilities, my dear Percy, responsibilities. Percy had a long drink. Soon his steam pressure had risen nicely, and he was ready to go and find his trucks. Gordon, meanwhile, had not returned to the shed. He dozed in the sunshine until it was his turn to take in water. Percy moved away. Gordon tried to follow him, but found that he couldn't. Come on, Gordon, said his driver. We haven't got all day. Your train is due in half an hour. I can't move, Gordon groaned furiously. I... I've got cramp. I can't move my pistons. Percy's driver came to see what was the matter. Jam valves, I reckon, said Gordon's driver. And while the fireman went to find an inspector, Percy gently buffered up to Gordon's front. Puffing hard, he managed to push Gordon back into the shed. And then went quietly away to fetch his trucks. It didn't say anything. Somehow it didn't think tactful. Later, when Percy met Thomas at the junction, told him what had happened. Poor oh, old Gordon, chuckled Thomas. But there, that's what it is to have responsibilities. And the two of them puffed off to run the branch line efficiently as they knew how. <laughs> <laughs>